Uh, my name is Roland Rieke. I'm a professor of physical chemistry here in, at the ETH in Zurich, Switzerland. So I mentioned that it takes several years to get an outcome. That's scientific work. And it's like that. If you study such a system, it may take a half a year or two, three years. And what we recently started is to automatize this process. And, and we make a lot of progress. And it looks like that we need now maybe two weeks of measurements and five hours of computation, and then we are done. Now, this is possible for systems which are not as big, not so biologically relevant yet, but with the high field, we will be able to get there. And, and uh, with the help of this high resolution, because you have a sharper picture, artificial intelligence is much uh, easier to be applied. And so we will be soon automatized that's my prediction, and of course it's my, my, my baby of research, and so I'm very excited about it, that we will soon deliver this, and uh, everybody can get once a week a structure when a biologist works on a system, and not waiting a year to understand the structure and then try to understand what it tells you in terms of biology. And that will accelerate amazingly the process of a rational approach in understanding biology. Our idea is that we have a software that when you measure, that's, I, I mentioned that the NMR is a very insensitive method. So you don't put in a sample and one second later you have finished your measurement. It takes a week, it takes two weeks. But we don't know actually how long it takes. We need to measure long because we only later start to analyze the spectra for months. But when we have everything automatized, we can, on the fly, interact with the instrument and the structure determination, artificial intelligence structure determination, and that enables probably us to make much shorter measurements. And so maybe it takes only then a week to get the structures. And with the high field, we go to very large systems and we can do drug screening probably very fast. And, and uh, that's my prediction. In the next five years, NMR will be probably called the revolution in NMR that is coming up through artificial intelligence. That was with the cryo-EM technology last two, three years. We will be very similar and very competitive because the amazing thing on NMR is not only that we are in solution, we are not frozen, but we have also the probes where we measure, the, the thermometer we measure, they are all where they are in the enzyme itself. You don't need to make some labels there or things like that. So the system is very versatile and for example drug screening um, could be done once automatized very fast.